Hi everybody and welcome to this new video. In this video we are going to be transferring our design onto our final painting sheet. Uh, so I've got uh, our design now or um, you know the design, whichever design you've got uh, you know as per the steps from the previous videos and what we're going to do now is actually transfer it onto the surface that we're going to be painting or you know whether it's uh, paper or canvas or wood it really, um, it's really up to you. Uh, in this case, I'm using 260 GSM watercolor paper and it's uh, smooth. So we'll give it a try. So uh, the first step we want to be taken is actually fix our drawing paper or painting canvas or painting paper, basically, uh, to our drawing board or surface. And let me adjust this a bit. Yep. So we use our masking tape for that. And I believe that four pieces of masking tape, uh, one on each side of the sheet, um, would be enough. Now, the next step is on the tracing paper, I have to make sure that I actually have the side with the, well, excuse me, with the pencil markings uh, onto the paper. So in this case, I hold my transfer sheet or transfer paper towards the light and I look for that shimmer. So when I see all that shimmer and, and uh, reflection of the pencil marks, this means that this is the side. The other side, I'm not sure if it shows uh, through the video, but the other side is really, you know, it's not all shimmery on all the lines, but some of them are quite dull. So this means that this is the side that is going to be transferred onto the sheet. So I put this sh side onto my transfer or onto my sheet in this manner. I try to adjust it, but it's okay because at the end of the day, I'm going to be cutting this envelope from the final uh, drawing. So what I do is last time uh, we make sure, you know, with our hands that there are no air uh, pockets underneath. Um, and we start fixing our paper again, using masking tape. So I use four pieces of masking tape here again. Uh, to fix my paper onto the drawing surface. And I think this is more than enough. So what I'm going to be showing you is actually three techniques that you could use to transfer the pencil marks onto the drawing sheet. So some people use something as simple as, you know, an ice cream stick. And what they do is actually go over the lines this way. So they would just start going over the lines and that way it exerts pressure onto the transfer paper and onto the drawing beneath or the drawing sheet beneath and transferring the pencil marks from the transfer paper. So let's peel this and have a look if it actually worked as we did want. Yeah, so it did transfer this piece as you can see. So what I'm going to do is continue this star with this technique just to show you how it works. And uh, there's no need to exert really excessive pressure. Um, you know, a little bit would do. And again, it depends. It all depends on the hardness of the pencil you've used and uh, on many other factors like the surface sheet itself. So you've got to be trying and uh, finding out what works for you. Okay, so let's peel this again. Here we go. So we've got our eight pointed star. So what I'll do now is I'll show you the second technique. And again, it's similar. So some people use something like a, you know, a spoon and they just go again over it like that. But this gives them like bigger, you know, strokes. So you could actually go through the whole drawing faster. Yeah. Uh, hope that's making sense. But again, I don't prefer this way. Um, let's have a look and see. 
uh, as you can see it's it's a bit hit and miss so I don't really prefer it you're gonna have to you know go over again and exert more you know pressure for it to um, to be transferred to the paper and for me um, these you know different techniques they're okay I guess but um, they don't really give me the, the, the results that I really you know uh, like or desire so um, my my favorite or the way I think is is correct is to actually go over these um, you know go over these lines again with the ruler and I know that this sounds like uh, or this feels repetitive from the previous videos but uh, for me this is uh, the best way to do it uh, for two main reasons the first one is that it actually transfers only the impression of the pencil so it makes the line you know crisper neater and uh, um, more you know precise onto the drawing and the second reason is that it gives me an opportunity to actually repeat the tracing onto the other side of the tracing paper which means that I could use this tracing paper on both sides so I don't have to worry anymore uh, you know which side am I on and um, it just gives me like a continuous you know way of working that uh, makes it really easier so again uh, with the tracing I start this time I'm starting with the horizontal lines and as you can see so i i, I just uh, again as we explained in the previous videos i kind of set a logic system logical system for myself to follow so i go with the with the um, horizontal first and then the vertical and then the diagonal lines so let me first finish, finish the horizontal ones So hopefully you get the idea. I'm gonna be actually uh, speeding up this part in the video. Maybe not, I'm not sure, but I'll see how it goes. Uh, I try to keep my videos short, as short as possible, uh, without jeopardizing you know, the, the amount of information that I want you to take away during the video. So just making sure that it's at a rate that is accessible and uh, you know simple enough for everybody. And all levels and uh, again this is just a simple pattern and um, we're just starting out so we're developing these techniques on a simple pattern and trying out these techniques uh, so that later we can actually use them for more sophisticated and uh, more complex pattern And on to the last set of horizontal lines. Now the vertical lines.
So the technique I use is basically just making sure I line up the straight edge or the set square or the ruler onto the lines and then, you know, uh, draw over them. Okay, now on to the diagonals and what I'll do is I'll start with, I'll always start from the left top uh, corner of the drawing, just to make sure that I smudge less as, uh, as I, um, you know, proceed in the drawing. Try to take your time and uh, not rush it. Sometimes I just, you know, rush it and end up with uh, discrepancies or mistakes, which, you know, are really avoidable, easily avoidable if, if you take your time. Uh, at the end of the day, um, it's all about um, trying to relax and enjoy the process. And then the last diagonal in this direction. Okay. Now on to the uh, other direction. And uh, this is where... So we've done this already. I shouldn't really be doing it because we've done it with the ice cream stick, if you remember at the beginning of the video. But that's okay. Uh, there's no harm in going over it again. It's important that I keep, you know, the um, the pressure on the pencil firm enough, but not abrasive to the paper underneath. So I stay gentle, uh, but uh, firm enough. And this is something you have to, you know, figure out again, um, depending on your pencil, depending on your, you know, how you hold your pencil. How firmly do you press onto the pencil? Or are you used to pressing on the pencil and the paper underneath as well? Um, I've recommended that you use the thickest um, tracing paper you could, you know, find. So 
Uh, I think I use 120 GSM, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but if you find uh, thicker than that, then uh, it's better to actually go thicker with the tracing paper because that allows you to, you know, it's really forgiving with with the pencil marks and the pencil uh, pressure on it. And it gives you a longer uh, a longevity, you know, in use as well. So you could actually use this template over and over and over again. So there's a lot of benefits in using the thicker tracing paper. Okay. So I think I'm done. Let's have a look. Slowly peel it again. We only peel one side, and here you go. You can see that I've transferred, you know, the sheet successfully. I would say. Um, what we could do is just maybe there are some marks that are a bit dark, which is fine. Uh, we could always go over them with the eraser. So you could use the eraser and just lightly. Um, you know, erase some of it. I don't prefer this eraser because, again, it can leave marks. So what I suggest to you is your needed eraser, and all you need to do is just uh, press it into, like, a cylinder shape and start rolling it over uh, the page. And that will take away any, um, you know, dark marks. You can see now that it has lightened it. I can still, I can still see it on the drawing, so it is visible enough for me to paint through. Uh, but it's actually now better to make sure that, you know, if you use uh, a little bit of a lighter paint or lighter colors, uh, translucent colors or transparent watercolors, then in that case, you don't have the lines or the construction pencil lines uh, showing through, which is something, you know, I don't worry too much about, but... Uh, Again, it's it's going to be up to you really and your preference. So, again, if I feel there is any smudge on the paper somewhere, I could just erase it with my eraser. So that's why I recommend the needed eraser more than any other type of eraser. Uh, you could always get the small, um, you know, uh, pencil erasers, which are fine as well. So here you go. Thank you for watching. If you find value in this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Your support, your support is, is much appreciated if you could subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get the first access to my future videos. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. If you like something, please write about it in the comment section. Tell us about it. If you dislike or is there, if there is something that you find, um, you know, that needs improvement or needs explanation again, please comment uh, below. My aim is to uh, teach this art form to as many people as possible and spread this, um, you know, uh, traditional art. And um, yeah, uh, please uh, feel free to ask any questions if you like. Enjoy and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.